welcome to another episode of Clicking with Cliff. Yeah, buddy. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to episode 19 of Clicking with Cliff. And yes, I'm going to start out this episode the way I start out all of them is with question and answers. So if you got questions for, for me to answer for next week's episode, Please drop them in the comments below, and I'll answer them next week. So here we go. First question I have is from Seth Bland. He's got a few of them, so I'll try to get them all. Um, he asked, speaking of wisdom, my last question, do you believe in life after love? No. Well, yeah. Yeah, I do. The other question he has is, if a Lego theme were superheroes, what theme would be the hero, and which then would be the villain. Do you think there is a Lego theme that has a positive or negative impact on another theme? Well, that's a hard, man, that's a deep question, Seth. But, the way I'll answer it, it would be this. This way here, buddy. It would be, I think Star Wars would have to be the, the villain, because, let's be quite frankly, them and Marvel are the ones that has violence, which like it was non-violent, but anyway, that's another subject, that's a rant. Um, back to the question would be I think the villains would be Star Wars just because they got more characters to them you know you've got aliens they could talk a like Yoda you know he may not be an alien but you know what I'm you know what I'm getting at um, so yeah I think that'd be kind of like the monsters or the, or the villains kind of you know that they you know there's good you got the in the bad in the Star Wars, but as you're, as you're talking about theme, I believe Star Wars would have to be the villain. And the uh, the hero would have to be, I would say, theme wise, would have to be Marvel just because at least they're half human um and your superheroes of course uh that's the whole thing now like superman well superman dc but okay i would group those two things together dc and marvel and then you got superman batman spider-man iron man so i said they would be the heroes um The positive and negative impact on another theme, I think positive impact for me would be, would have to be Star Wars. Because, you know, down that whole storyline, there's good, bad, underdogs, you know, the hope, you know, as long as there, there is hope, there's always a possibility of everything kind of you know that's what i get out of star wars you know as long as there's hope there's a chance so i believe that in life kind of if you have a hope for something that you hope something will happen there's always that one percent of possibility that it could happen and it just takes that one certain somebody to to show it can and then they'll rub off you know i always say if you plant a seed into somebody and let it grow, let it fester and grow, you'll get some help. So, you got hope. You can use the hope as a seed. You can plant your seeds in, in, into the field and fill it as a, as a community. You know, your friends say, hey, you know, what, hap what, what happens is I hope this happens. And the other guy will think, well, you know, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I hope it does. I mean, it, it grows an army. So, Star Wars, you know, hope would be would be on that end. Negative would be, I don't know, <sighs> negative impact on another theme would be, <sighs> man, that's a hard one. I want to say friends just because of the dolls and we don't want dolls to interpret any other themes, so that would be the negative impact, I think. Um, you know, I'm not saying nothing bad about the dolls, but Friends would be the only theme I think should have dolls. Um, 
Star Wars will look weird with dolls, and I, and if they did that, I'd quit buying Star Wars and quit supporting Star Wars, for sure. Um, but I think that'd be the negative impact of that question. And another question was asked: Do you think the rain would sound soothing if your roof was made of Lego? Well, of course, yes, of course, yes, it would. It sure would. Yes, yes, yes. I think that's it from Seth. Next question would be from the Breakable Cow. Is if you were a Lego piece, what Lego would you be? A, a plate, stud, brick, etc. Great. Um, well, of course, we already told us I'd be the stud. Um, so that, that'd be it. <laughs> Moments of the Magic asks if you could make a Lego series, what theme would it be? Ooh, you guys got good questions this week. Um, I would have to say it would be, you know what, I'm an outdoorsy person. Let's do something in the woods. How about, how about, like, I'd almost be like a woodsman thing. You know, have lumberjacks and, and lumberjills and, and, and they all live in the forest and have little scenarios, little then we have the, the three hidden monster in the woods or whatever, you know, the wolf man or, or some kind of villains and the lumberjacks had to wear them off of the community. I think that'd be kind of cool. It may have happened. I don't know. Before my time. I think that would be. And then we got Mr. Blue. He asked, what happened to your beard? Well, I trimmed it and shaved it off. It's springtime, usually around springtime. I'll usually keep a goatee until September, October. When I start growing my beard back. But I always will have hair through here. The rest of it will be off till about fall. Um, and Will Harper. He wants to know how many Star Wars sets and, minifi and Star Wars minifigs I have. I had to go count them. So, well, I got 53 Star Wars sets. That's ranging from helmets to every Star Wars set I own. And then minifigures, I have 160 minifigs, Star Wars minifigures. And that will end the conclusion of the question and answering part of today's episode. Great questions. I enjoyed this segment. So, please, do it again down below next week. Now we'll go with my weekend review. Well, let's start back from Thursday night. We had Hoosier's Bricks. Hang out with Hoosier. We had fun time on Hoosier's stream. Um, hung out with him. Friday, I didn't do my, I didn't do no live stream. I just hung out. Saturday, we had another Hoosier Bricks live was a great great episode i'll take that back we'll start wednesday my i had a wednesday night live last last week last wednesday night well great we built the lamborghini we're uh speed champs it's speed champ month through march so we'll be building that on my live streams on wednesdays um then we already went over who's your bricks then sunday we had clicking and breaking on Eddie's channel, so this week will be on my channel. That was an awesome episode. We were trying a new segment. We're actually trying to be a little professional, as much pro professional as we can be. Um, so yeah, we we did that. Uh, we had Brett builds on, showing his muck of the castle, and we're gonna try to get, <clears throat> went over that. We had we went through Lego, see what was going on in Lego, kind of talked about some things. Then we might have guest on and had a, just a chat the rest of the show, but it was a good show. And we did Monks of the Week, and we're going, we're going to keep doing that. We're going to have different guests on at the beginning of each episode, or every live stream, and, and talk about what they're into, their passion, and stuff like that. We, we got a couple that we're trying to work work out and get them on. It was going to be a fun time. Um, but other than that, we uh, had a good show. Of course, Monday night we had 
uh, the Yeti stream, which was just chaos. We had brick bull cow going moo every time somebody said cow. Every time somebody said cow or type cow in the comments, you had to go moo. Just fun. We're just having fun. We may have went teeny weeny overboard with it, but hey, it's all fun. That's all it was. We won't do that to him again. He's in the group now. Um, but yeah, so if you have not watched or subscribed to the Yeti, to myself, to Hooter Bricks, ring that bell. Guys, we have so much fun on these live streams. I hate for anybody to miss out. Um, it's a good, it's a good time, good time. Um, so yeah, keep, uh, I'll put the links down below. If, you know if it'll help you out um my projects is well i'm just gearing up for this saturday i got another eight hour stream for my 300 subscribers uh special thank you guys for getting me there and we'll do it again when we reach 400 and uh so it, and be sure you're there because i got couple surprises you gotta be in the stream you, i mean you gotta be in the chat to receive it so to, to get it so be there hang out with me um but yeah and that, that's pretty much all the projects i got going on of course i'm doing the bag and build today on my shorts and on my instagrams and now i'm working on the all train vehicle which is a fun set so if you haven't got it go get it um but but that's about all the projects I got going. Of course, you see my update on my Jurassic World Park. It's, I did it last Friday. So that was fun. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave, leave it here with you guys this week. I want to thank you guys for coming by and watching. Um, and hanging out with us on the live streams and on videos and everywhere. I enjoy the commentary. I love I love interaction with you guys. I, I, you know, you, without you, I wouldn't be doing this. If I was doing this and was getting no views, no comments, I'd quit doing it. There wouldn't be no sense in it. But I'm trying my heart. I am trying to do it. So, uh, hey guys, remember hit that like button down below. If you like it, leave a comment as well. Ask me a question. I'll answer next week, of course. Um, please subscribe to me if you like my stuff. Uh, and remember, y'all, cooking ain't easy, but it sure is fun. Until next time.